This is not the first interesting move that Tesla has made, and it's surprising the bears. The carmaker has demonstrated once more that it is at the top of the EV market. Therefore, it is difficult to defend Tesla's value when earnings are not increasing when you consider that Microsoft trades at 30 times earnings given what they are accomplishing, and yet Tesla trades at double Microsoft's multiple. When you really think about it, they mentioned that the company regularly produced cash flow. Against the projected $7.9 billion, they intend to spend $9 billion on capital expenditures. Even though there have been some short-term obstacles, many analysts, including Rick Ducat, are extremely optimistic about Tesla in the long run. What do you think of what you're seeing? Since the beginning of the year, Tesla has been reducing the cost of its vehicles in a number of locations. Thus far, the carmaker has changed prices five times, with variations ranging from 4% to 20% based on the model and area. The Model S and Model X, the company's most costly cars, were impacted by the most recent price reductions, which happened in October. These price reductions have been viewed by some analysts as an indication of declining demand for Tesla products, particularly in light of the unfavorable prognosis for the world economy and growing competition from other automakers. Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla, has insisted time and time again that the reverse is true. In an effort to increase demand and make its cars more accessible and cheap for a larger variety of consumers, the firm is cutting its costs. What will this signify, then, when Tesla begins to raise the price of its vehicles? Does this imply that the demand is beginning to rise? What does this mean for investors in Tesla? Come along as we investigate these important concerns. Yes, there has been a slight disparity as the long-term forecast is promising, but the short-term view has been less favorable. It is evident that we have been rising from those annual lows for some time now, creating a triangle with our longer trend line crossing the lows and our shorter trend line crossing the highs. Traders frequently search for this type of triangle form since it indicates less volatility. When price eventually pushes over one of those two trend lines, either to the upside or the downside, it might result in an explosive breakout due to the compression of price in an increasingly limited range. It turned out badly in this instance. After the earnings release, there was a significant decline in this market, but on Friday, we stopped close to a critical level, and we're currently bouncing about it. We had previously topped out and bottomed out at the green dashed line at 213 in the vicinity. Locations where price frequently stops can be significant levels of support or resistance, and that's the kind of thing you want to search for. It is more helpful in this instance, but it is also not very supportive below that point. We'll address that shortly. According to Elon Musk, people's desire to acquire a Tesla is very strong, but their financial situation is what prevents them from doing so. Additionally, he asserted that since implementing worldwide reductions in January, Tesla has been successful in generating orders. The business delivered 435,059 units in Q3, up 12% from Q2 and 57% from Key 3 2022, according to Tesla's third quarter earnings release. Additionally, the business has stuck to its plan to produce 1.8 million cars by the end of 2023. What would happen then if Tesla began to raise the price of its vehicles? Let's investigate. Welcome back to Tesla tomorrow, everyone. Recently, Tesla raised the cost of its well-liked Model Y long range. However, the automaker's strategy of lowering costs to increase demand is predicated on its conviction that it can realize economies of scale and lower cost per vehicle as it increases production and enhances efficiency, a development that has alarmed investors. Tesla has been making significant investments to increase its manufacturing capacity, particularly in China and Europe, where it is up against more local EV manufacturers like BYD and VW. Additionally, it has been creating updated versions of a few of its models, but the carmaker's profit margins and profitability have suffered greatly as a result of its price reductions. In Q3 2022, Tesla recorded a net income of $1.85 billion, a 27% decrease from Q2 and a 44% reduction from Q2.
Additionally, its gross margin dropped to 17.9% in Q3 from 18.2% in Q2 and 25.1% in Q3 2022. The EV manufacturer claims that the primary causes of this decreased margin are its lower vehicle prices, together with higher operating costs, the effect of foreign exchange and factory outages for improvements. However, it appears that Tesla is now taking a very different approach. Before we continue, please click the like button, subscribe, and enable post alerts if you enjoy this kind of content so you can be informed about all things Tesla. Many have questioned Tesla's long-term competitive edge and differentiation in light of its price reductions. According to some analysts, Tesla's reduced costs could hurt the company's premium image and brand value, as well as its capacity to make quality and innovation-related investments. Some have argued that Tesla's price reductions could not be sufficient to keep rivals at bay who are catching up with regards to design, technology, and customer support. A number of external factors, including supply chain interruptions, consumer preferences, government legislation, and environmental concerns, have an impact on Tesla's demand and price reductions. They also have bearing on the company's long-term objectives, which include reaching full self-driving capability, introducing fresh goods and services, and branching out into other industries and market niches. But these goods need to be reasonably priced in order to succeed in their markets. To begin with, Tesla has been working on and testing its full self-driving FSD software in an effort to allow its cars to operate autonomously in the majority of situations without the need for a driver. In order to do this, Tesla has started making FSD beta versions available to a limited number of customers who have paid for the FSD package. The automobiles themselves must be reasonably priced for the automaker to sell this FSD package in large quantities. In an effort to strengthen its competitive edge and diversify its revenue sources, Tesla has been developing new goods and services. Cybertrucks, the Semi, the Roadster, the Model 2, a more affordable little car, the Megapack, the Solar Roof, the Powerwall, the Robotaxis, and more are a few examples. In addition to these goods, Tesla has been looking into new industries and industry niches that can expand its clientele and market share. India, Indonesia, Brazil, Russia, Africa, the Middle East, the mining industry, the military, space exploration, and even the biotech industry are a few of these. As you can see, Tesla does not make irrational decisions. The car maker has taken every action necessary to gain a proper foothold in these important areas, and every action has been assessed for potential outcomes. Its price reductions are also the same. Recent price reductions by Tesla are expected to boost short-term demand for the business and help it gain market share and sales volume in the quickly expanding electric vehicle EV sector. While price reductions may ultimately result in lower profitability and margins for Tesla, they present some difficulties for the company's rivals since they will also have to lower their prices and will not be able to absorb the repercussions. Tesla has a devoted and passionate following of customers who appreciate both the company's goal of hastening the switch to sustainable energy sources and its cutting-edge futuristic products. But Tesla has also come under fire and complaints from users and critics who have had problems with its cars, including poor quality, delayed servicing, software errors, and degrading batteries. These kinds of factors can have also had an impact on the demand for the vehicle firm. The effects won't linger for very long, though. Even though some individuals disagree, Tesla's products continue to set the standard for innovation, quality, and sustainability in their respective sectors. However, what are your thoughts? Do you believe Tesla is planning to raise its vehicle prices once more? Please share your thoughts with us below, and don't forget to